All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game. This game taking place here on Terranus Stand LV, and this is Fortitude, also known as Romantic. Uh, Fortitude, um, I, I think uh, Romantic switched to Orc for quite some time, and now, well, he's back to playing human as he goes up against Infi. Infi, well, now often choosing at random race and getting Night Elf this time around. So human versus Night Elf in this 1v1 matchup. And well, Fortitude, I, I don't know, can you really call Fortitude um, playing human an off race since um, he played it for so many years in the past? I am probably going to be switching between Romantic and Fortitude back and forth. Um, my apologies if you are confused or you prefer one or the other know that they are in fact the same a person and I guess this is just my disclaimer saying um, well hopefully it doesn't confuse you all too much now nah, his hum his main is human he just played a little bit of work for fun yeah well we'll see anyways let's we'll, we'll see what's gonna be I, th I thought he was trying to rebrand himself and um, I thought part of the rebranding was trying to go into orc a little bit more but um, if we are looking at all right, Blood Mage first. All right, so um, hmm. Blood Ma now normally Blood Mage first is a very specific strategy if you're trying if you if you're trying to shut down your opponent's hero um, in a matchup where your opponent went f random, you don't necessarily know what here what race your opponent is, let alone can even make a guess on what hero your opponent is going to be go going for. Um, this is very strange, very unorthodox, and I'm wondering what exactly Romantic is trying to do here um, with this Blood Mage first. Uh, Flame Strike is um, is very powerful. You um, let's see what that first ability is going to be, and as he's going to be dealing with Phantom Knives, there is that Flame Strike, and well, that one rogue was actually not standing on the blight, and this rogue wasn't actually standing on the blight long enough either. All right, so Blood Mage going to try and finish off all of these units here um, as quickly as possible. Renegade Wizard going to end up getting taken down. Low hit point militia now looking to back away as we are going to be getting to level 2 on this Blood Mage. Oh, actually, nope. Yeah, level 2 onto that Blood Mage. Is it going to take down that peasant? Yes, it does. Picking up a scroll of the beast. All right, Blood Mage, perhaps going to transition back across here, try to take down some of these units as that Apprentice Wizard will get taken down rather fast. Also, speed building a farm. Warden on the other end of the map is going to get sp spouted, uh, spotted by this footman here as the Warden now heads off to the north as well. Big Phantom Knives finishing off that Force Troll Shadow Priest first to prevent any of that healing and now backing away as that Ancient of War is going to be tanking that damage. Meanwhile, that Blood Mage really, well, getting a lot of additional armor right now, perhaps wishes that he got, well, there's that fan of uh, Flame Strike. Is he going to try and siphon mana? There it goes. There's that siphon mana away from that Forest Roll High Priest as the Blood Mage wants to try and top out all of his mana pretty fast. Should be trying to do that again here. There it goes. Getting, be getting back up to 245. And, well, with no more mana, I don't know if he actually gained mana in that last siphon mana but at least the forest troll high priest is no longer healing any damage forest troll high priest gonna get taken down giving level three almost on the dot to that blood mage <clears throat> as we're looking at a possible fast expansion attempt well with that said we perhaps um, anyone who plays on this map versus a night elf if you are human knows that you need to get multiple towers here one tower here and then perhaps another tower here another arcane tower in the back just in case the warden is going to try and well do some shenanigans against you pulling back those creeps once more going to try and engage the blood mage is sitting at level three we'll be able to get back up to full mana here we should be looking at another four stroll shadow priest as the blood mage has taken a lot of damage and in comes that warden that is actually very scary siphon mana away from the warden warden does get a fan of knives off dealing terrible damage across multiple peasants as the blood mage could end up getting taken down all right a little bit of damage right there there's a reveal as the siphon mana now comes on through finishing off the remainder of the peasants blood mage could end up getting taken down there's that reveal once more as more peasants are just falling left and right all right trying to finish off there's the blink and are we going to see the death of the blood mage no Blood Mage able to use a scroll of town portal in time as the peasants are trying to switch every which way. 
All right, scroll of town portal was used, and that means that this town hall is going to end up not getting repaired or adding any additional hit points. Peasants are trying to make work of it, and it is just buying a little bit of time as there's the cancellation. All right, no shadow strike, but then again, the fan of knives would not have been nearly as powerful. And that fan of knives finishing off multiple peasants here, only one forest troll shadow priest, another one should get hired up from the mercenary camp when available, as it does not look like there's an arcane vault. Tech to tier two already completed by the night elf player, Infi. As Infi now, well, is he going to go for this solo warden strategy? It does look like it. And that warden is just perhaps going to try and make his opponent pay for any sort of expansion scenarios. He should be looking at an anti magic potion as well to protect the warden from the arcane tower as the warden, well, heals back up. What is he going to, is he going to sell an item? Yep, sell some items. And what else is he going to try and pick up back here? Um, trying to get a little bit more mana as well. <coughs> um, will this warden will this warden be close to Happy's warden? Um, well, I, I think this warden this warden will actually be crazier than Happy's warden. Um, if you remember, the warden of Happy got to level eight before it really got blink in that matchup this warden already has blink at level two maybe actually trying to go for level two blink to get in and out of scenarios faster all right finishes things off once more we're looking at the forest troll berserkers about to get fit and taken down here yeah it is going to be level two blink so that warden will be able to get in and out of fights very very quickly also a good amount of mana indeed a force ancient war about to get taken down well finally backing up as those kobolds well, give a little bit more experience as well. All right, one arcane tower in position. Arcane vault here for additional healing. Blood mage getting in a, a big flame strike, and we could see a footman getting taken down. There it goes. Level four now on the blood mage, as he does get level two siphon mana. Level two siphon mana would have been incredibly helpful there. Blood mage also going to be picking up a tome of intelligence plus two, already up to 465 mana indeed. Furball, furball. All right. S second scout tower now added in. Warden sitting at level four tr will want to try and get to level five. Ancient of Wars, well, just absorbing damage from the renegade wizards and those assassins. Warden's going to be sitting at level four even after all of this here. An ogre for the human. Well, is there an ogre for the human? Dryad's now joining in. Where is that goblin zeppelin? Goblin zeppelin. Um, well, that is off overhead as the Ancient of War actually going to finish the Assassin, not giving any experience there. All right, in comes the drop, in comes the units. There you go. Units going to be dropping in all over the place. There's a big fan of knives. Ogre Warrior, uh, Scout Towers could get taken down rather quickly as the Scout Tower of the Night Elf quickly, uh, or the Goblin Zeppelin of the Night Elf quickly taken down. Fan of knives. Warden now pretty much out of mana. What can really be done here as the Forest Troll Berserker? Can the uh, Forest Troll Berserker jump inside the Goblin Zeppelin? Yes, it does, and it does end up staying alive. All right, Warden losing a bunch of mana right there and Infi really risking a lot here without getting any real advantage what is that warden hoping to do staff of teleportation as there is a complete wall in a dryad gets finished off and Infi suffering heavy losses right there with that push 36 supply compared to 41 as the goblin zeppelin now perhaps going to try and stop an expansion underway nothing yet in this entangled gold mine wisp will be making their way over goblin zeppelin going to quickly quickly get over there here meanwhile we are taking a look at a number of dryads down here trying to get in some easy damage once more guard tower not yet upgraded peasants are all off over here we're going to try and see them all with all of these repairs as in comes the repairs on that scout tower indeed all right massive repairs underway is it going to be enough four dryads trying to finish this off here more repairs trying to get there as the scout tower gonna get there in time down to 452 110 and now the repairs are done warden gets off a major big fan of knives there as dryad after dryad is falling the massive repairs underway again this scout tower may need to get canceled as it is destroyed as well all right peasants still fighting off more units meanwhile off on the other side flame strike tree of life could get taken down here flame strike dealing a lot of damage as the as the whisper now trying to make their way over are they going to be able to do the repair there's a flame strike and oh and all of those peasants pretty much taken down as well
All right, Blood Mage, where is it going to try and go? What is it doing? Goblin Zeppelin is in position. It should be trying to head back down to the south. Meanwhile, Guard Towers are fighting back off the, against the Ancient of Wars as we're looking at a Goblin Shredder joining in on the fight too. All right, Warden in position. Is it going to be able to back away? Guard Towers finishing off many units. Peasants are falling quickly as those Dryads are trying to well, just dive in and out. Warden unable to get into this position off over here as the Mass Teleportation finally getting underway. Or not Mass Teleport, just Staff of Teleportation getting underway. And the Dryads are trying to pull back again. All right, Blood Mage sitting at level four. A Blood Mage harass actually able to take down the gold, the gold mine of the Night Elf player, taking down that Tree of Life. If you did not know, the Flame Strike is actually a bit more effective taking down buildings than Blizzard is. So, so far, so much damage coming across both sides again as the Dryads may try and push on through. 41 supply against 30 and this means that Romantic is a little bit behind um, well significantly behind right now but he does have a large amount of gold in the bank we are also looking well nope where is a second hero there is a keep right there there is no second hero as of yet and we don't know if it's going to be some sort of solo blood mage strategy i can't imagine that the blood mages flame strike is going to be that effective against the dryads and even the ultimate ability the phoenix is not going to be effective either as the phoenix does deal magic damage warden about to try to blink on in goblin zeppelin overhead blood mage spots all of this and says you know what are, are we just going to lo look at each other across a river so to speak as there is an anti-magic potion lying in wait ready for that warden all right, coming back through, Ogre, Ogre Mauler Dryad's going to try and push push in in just a moment. Warden waiting for the timing on that anti-magic potion. Going to go ahead and just Staff of Teleportation into the other side. And now attacking the main base as the bears walk straight up inside this base now. Blink along the backside here. Staff of Teleportation, anti-magic potion as the Blood Mage cannot hold his own against that Warden. As the Warden just dealing so much damage. There's a massive flame strike right there as the Blood Mage gets to level 5. Blood Mage at level 5 trying to finish off more units. Goblin Zeppelin, unit's going to try and get unloaded here in just a moment no doesn't get unloaded 27 supply compared to 44 and what is going on here somehow the blood mage is not able to train up any units as the warden now gets up to level six level six on that warden no more anti-magic potion though as as precious mana getting lost and the blood mage being forced to blink away from that fight right there not enough mana for that avatar of vengeance 1200 gold and no units to spend it on double griffin aviaries but is that going to be enough either as the blood mage is going to retreat or sorry the warden going to retreat back home get some mana and most likely to begin that push so far a lot of damage on both sides as the warden going to well, trying to close in on that distance get in a little bit more mana again goblin zeppelins in the air to keep track of any sort of well teleportation or high movement or drop play meanwhile panda the follow-up hero coming in from infi interestingly enough trying to go for a panda the warden can perhaps do some solo strategies and causing a lot of problems inside the expansion dealing damage while the panda is going to get to level two and maybe even level three level three breath of fire does cause massive problems there's an anti-magic potion still well what is going to be happening here there's one guard tower one arcane tower warden well just trying to push on that front door that is going to be taking quite a bit of damage there doesn't want to be sticking around in that spot as the blood mage looks to back up as well all right massive guard towers protecting themselves from this onslaught that was trying to be used there is a spirit of vengeance now in play another spirit of vengeance in play and so much damage there is perhaps going to be a phantom knives but the guard tower is able to really push through damage still all right spirit of vengeance need to perhaps try and take down some of those some of those units here as we are looking at more damage getting added in the spirit of vengeance is causing problems goblin zeppelin picks up all of the hit point or all of the low hit point units to prevent any more of those spirits from being able to be summoned warden still sitting at level six panda now at level three also with a wand of the wind can cause some major problems indeed as we are going into tier three warden is in the backside it does try and well a um, fan of knives but it also shadow melded in time is there going to be a reveal right there goblin zeppelin picks up all of the units and i don't think infi really minds that 
Infi is just off over here saying, fine, if you don't want to mine any gold, I'm not going to force you. And I, and I I don't need to reveal myself and everything is still fine and dandy. We are looking at Druids of the Claw back over here. They are relatively low on hit points. They need a bit more and they need to go into Druid form and well cast some rejuvenations as we're going into Dragonhawk Riders. Dragonhawk Riders I'm going to be coming into play here. 51 supply compared to 41 right now. Ogre Mauler going to be backing up. There's that Warden saying, you know what? One Warden is preventing any mining from happening right now. And he is absolutely fine with that. All right. So far, there is multiple Dragon oh, Dragonhawk Riders. They're going to engage here. Dryad's going to try to push on in. There's a fan of Knives trying to get in some damage as well as Guard Tower after Guard Tower is going to begin to fall. Dryad going to take a lot of damage. Panda with Breath of Fire finding many of those dragon hawks as the dragon hawks do not have animal war training since well we are not at castle and now also the barracks is gone warden going to try to finish off more units panda is going to be able to get off another breath of fire yes it does damage is being done as the spirit of vengeances are finding its target as the ogre maulers and the remaining units now joining in back in on the fight again all right blood mage shows up to the fight is it going to be able to focus down any of those units there's a flame strike right there as damage getting absorbed by multiple units but also taking some damage is his own units again Drag Blood Mage continuing to fight back here. Is he going to be able to finish off any of these units as the Blood Mage is just trying to rotate around and find the proper way to go? Scroll of Town Portal being used as we are now going into the ultimate ability of the Blood Mage. But what does it really matter if the Blood Mage's Phoenix is unable to deal any damage to any of those units? No mining going on here either. Staff of Teleportation. Warden going to go ahead and teleport back home. No Staff of Preservation either as the Warden is going to try and buy a Staff of Preservation and then perhaps give it to the Panda so it could make the return tri the trip home and the return trip that much more quickly. Breath of Fire. That was a brilliant, brilliant strategy by Infi. Getting up a level 1 Panda after getting that Warden to level 6. There is now a Phoenix in the air and that is going to cause some problems. There it goes. Trying to take down some of those units. There is an Avatar of Vengeance and that Warden back out onto the field. Damage Orb of Venom as this Phoenix most likely will just get taken down. Where is it going to try and go down to? Well, 20. Oh. Oh. Uh, if you did not know, the Phoenix also does damage over time to itself. And if it dies over water, it does not have anywhere for an egg to, to be placed down. So it can never be reborn. A little bit of a misstep once again. Um, as we're looking at the Blood Mage, well, having to wait another two minutes or so before it is able to cast that ultimate ability. Siphon mana away, but well, Infi taking that game very easily over Romantic Fortitude. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. That was just a crazy game. I'm, I'm trying to describe everything that was happening in that match. Uh, Blood Mage, level 6. Uh, Warden dropping everything. Yeah, that was that was pretty much all over the place, including my casting, I got to admit.